Welcome to MrWirk.com. My name is Navjod. Um, in today's tutorial, we'll learn how to install WordPress onto your website. So, congrats, uh, you have been searching uh, over the internet and you're finally um, ready to create your own website and your platform of choice is WordPress. So, from experience, I can tell it's a good choice. I have been using it for five years now uh, so highly recommend it uh, you'll have a lot of control uh, you'll have a lot of plugins to make uh, all sort of changes customizations etc etc so it's a highly recommended platform so i believe you have already gone through most of them or all of them so we'll quickly get to the topic where we will um install a wordpress uh, website from scratch or say manually Sorry. So, so let's go. So first of all, we'll visit WordPress.org and we want to go on the downloads page. I have left the link in the tutorial as well. So what you have to do is download the WordPress file and it will be a zipped file. So once downloaded, go to your cPanel account, which will be from your hosting provider. So once you're in the cPanel account, uh, in this instance I'm using GoDaddy, yours could be different. Um, then file manager, go to the web root. Once you're in your file manager, what you'll have to look for on the left hand side is public HTML folder. So there's all sort of folders that will contain all sort of files. What you're looking for is public HTML um, that will open up the pane so if this is your first website on this hosting account you can you'll not have all these files like I have so you'll basically upload your WordPress website here but I have like multiple websites uh, slash like multiple subdomains on this uh, if you're not aware what subdomains are um, I have uh, left a link in the tutorial as well where you can go and learn what a subdomain is so quickly going back, so since the website, uh, the domain where I'm going to install WordPress is test.mrwork.com. So that's where I'm going to install um, my WordPress website. So right now I just have a basic HTML file right there. So we're going to remove that and quickly upload our WordPress uh, files there. So when I created the subdomain, I know this is test.mrwork.com folder that's where all my files should go I'll there's another folder that I'll keep and I'll delete the index file so this will not be necessary for your step all you'll have to do is go to upload choose file and from there you wanna choose your WordPress file and I should be here okay so this is the latest version that I have that I just downloaded today great so I'm gonna upload that so you can see it's getting uploaded now <clears throat> and once you see it's complete you can just press back and that will basically open the folder um, and you can see your file have been uploaded what you have to do now is you have to extract the file so select the file and then click right click and say extract and once you press this button it's going to extract the file for you and you'll see this and just close it now um, basically delete this folder as you'll not need this and now um, you can keep the files in WordPress uh, folder if you want but it's uh, not recommended because if you're using it if you're using WordPress for your blog it has to be blog and that's how you should rename it you should never rename it just like normal um, WordPress uh, folder so I want my WordPress website to be on the root so at the domain level I don't want it to be at blog I don't I don't want that so since I don't want that so as you see uh, we have it in blog folder so it's asking for installation so I don't want that I want my WordPress website 
here at the root domain. So what I'll have to do is go back to the C panel and go into the blog folder. I'll select all the files. I'll say select all and then I'll say move. And from there I'll just remove the folder name from here and I'll say move. Um, so what will, this will do is basically it will move all the files one level up. If you go back, you'll see all the files are there. You can just delete this folder safely with no problems. Great. Uh, so when we refresh this page now, we should get a installation um, installation wizard or let's say installation window. Let's do it. So as I said, we're getting an installation uh, window. Um, now we can select a language of preference. Uh, I'm comfortable with English United States. I'll press continue. Once I press continue, we'll need these certain details. I'll take a quick screenshot of this to keep on the um, article. So what we'll need is database name, database username, database password, database host and table prefix. This is basically optional but you can basically customize your what your uh, prefix will be basically how your database tables name will start. That's what, what it is. So right now um, we need all these details. I haven't set up them yet so we'll now uh, what we'll do is go and get all these details in order to press let's go and be able to upload the rest of the files. Uh, quickly create a database that we'll use for WordPress. Um, so what we need to do is we need to be in cPanel and from cPanel uh, we will go to the databases section and press MySQL databases tab. Once we'll press that a uh, new tab will open and from there we'll be able to create a database and uh, since uh, this database is gonna be for a test database I'm just gonna call it test.mrwig.com which is mrwig.com is my website so I'm just gonna create testmrwig.com and I'm gonna hit hit create database that will create a database for me now um, I'll take this database name Actually, I'll just remember it. So now the next step is we need to create a user for this database so your WordPress website is able to have access to this uh, database. So I'll give it a username. I'll say test user. And I'll give it a password. Great, um, I have given it a username and a password and now what I'm gonna do is create the user. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so there's already a user uh, named test, so what I'll have to do is create another user, I guess. Yes, I'll have to create another user. So let's say test .mrwork com. Let's see if it likes it. No, it doesn't. So let's make it like that. <coughs> let's just generate password because I want to have a password that I can use uh, in this video tutorial because I don't want to share a password that I use in day to day so this will be our password I'm just making a quick copy of it great let's try saving this it's been a little bit slow okay great we have created our database uh, 
ta uh, sorry, <laughs> database user. What we need to do now is we have to go back and then go to the section where we can add user to database. We'll say test mrwig.com um, user and we want to assign test.mrwig.com database to it. And this is an important step I mean um, because that's where you give permissions to your table uh, slash database to this user that WordPress will use. We'll say add. And once you say add, it's going to ask which privileges you want to give it. So for WordPress case, you'll have to assign all privileges and say make changes. And that's it. And now your um, database is all set to go for WordPress. So now what we'll do is we'll go to WordPress and that's where we wanted to use our like that's that's basically like the WordPress installation uh, page <coughs> where we want to use these details uh, to be able to uh, install WordPress. So we'll just since we have all these details like database name, username, password, and database host, which will be just local host. In this case, we'll just use that. And let's say let's go. Now, database name was test.mrwork.com. Great. And the username was test mrwork.com. And the password was this that we generated. It will be localhost. Now, table prefix is optional. You can change it if you want. If you don't want, you don't change it. I'm just going to call it tests in this case. Uh, you can call it whatever. And that's how your tables will start. Let's say uh, a new table will be created by WordPress. It will be called test new table. That's how WordPress will create your tables. So I'm just going to say it test. I'm going to submit that. And once that's done, it's going to uh, going to ask if uh, you want to run the installation. And it, it's giving you a confirmation. Uh, all right, Sparky. It's saying all's good. WordPress has been successfully able to make a connection to uh, the database would you like to install the WordPress and once we press this uh, WordPress is going to uh, create uh, some tables into the database and uh, install the WordPress for us great now it's asking for a site title I'm gonna say test website I'm gonna give it a username I'm gonna say test user I'm gonna say admin dash test and we're gonna use the same password here as well uh, we'll have to give a email and don't worry guys I'm gonna change this <laughs> password for the uh, database and uh, for the website very soon so there's no issues with like the website being getting hacked because I intend to keep this website uh, live for further tests and tutorials that I want to prepare for you guys so uh, definitely stay tuned on my YouTube channel and on my uh, website so we'll say install WordPress and this is it the WordPress website has been installed and you have successfully created your databases and everything the steps are complete now what you have to do is log in so we're gonna quickly go there and log in we're gonna say admin dash test which is our username we're gonna give it the password that we set up which is this again and we're gonna say log me in Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's it we're already in the dashboard and if you press visit site your new WordPress website is all set to go great now what you can do is you can create pages media post and users let's create a new post awesome because uh, a new website without a post is nothing right 
a new post for my YouTube video. Great. We'll publish it quickly. I'll make another video uh, on like how to make effective posts and other things, so stay tuned on the channel again. Uh, we'll say visit post and you can see we have created a new post. That's it for me guys. Uh, thanks so much uh, for spending all this time on the tutorial. Um, please feel free to comment your views and like don't forget to share the video, like the video and share it with your like friends and everything. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye.